My name is Ivan Alonzo. I'm 38 years old. I'm married and I have two small children. I got into running when I met my wife. She'd run uh, three or four miles almost daily. I just thought, well, only an insane person would do that. At my heaviest, I was about 250 pounds. Any sort of activity consisted of me hanging out with my buddies and you know, staying out late at night, followed by very bad uh, healthy eating choices. When I met my wife, I started with a couple of times of running a week, and within about a year and a half, I lost uh, close to 100 pounds. Now she says that she's created a monster because I have. <laughs> I'm Katie Sloan. I live in Twickenham with my Labrador Billy and my boyfriend Sam. This will be her first kind of serious marathon effort. Honestly, I just really, really like running. And a cool thing about Katie is you just hear her voice and you smile and want to be her friend. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> the Zwift Academy has helped to get to the next level. It's given her the kind of framework, the facilities to kind of reach what she wants to reach. I think 5,000 people or something did the academy, so incredible to get on the team. Katie is what we would probably say is our fastest woman. She's just someone who hasn't done much when it comes to running on the track or running on the roads. Just used to uh, surviving up and down the mountains. It, it's, it's been a unique challenge to, to dial in her training a bit because she wants to go longer and, and more. She wasn't afraid to throw out a big goal. I think she wants to uh, break 245 in the marathon. I've set my target time as two hours 45 minutes at the beginning of the program and I tried to back down to 250 but Terence and Jen were holding me to 245 so you know I think I've, um, Ivan might be aiming for the same time as me so um, I'm really hoping that we can like boost each other on. Ivan Alonso is quite competitive and he's actually quite good. I think if he, if he puts his head down he, he, he may be able to chase that 245 zone. Still good with trying to chase like sub 245, you think, for this marathon? Uh, yes. <laughs> I never imagined that I would improve as much as I have. And to get to Berlin, you, you it's kind of the, the best of the best, so to speak. Ivan's a great example of just someone who just decides, I'm gonna change my lifestyle. This is what I'm doing and it can be done. And I think that's you know super relatable for a lot of other people out there. For the most part, I've been self-coached. Now I have one is an Olympian and another who coaches Olympians. You can't put a, a, a price on that. That's awesome. So I use Swift for all of my really fast stuff on the treadmill. It kind of shows me everything that I need to be doing that for the session, my paces. I don't even have to think. When I'm by myself, I do really struggle to like maintain the same pace, so I find myself going like really fast or really slow. Doing it on the Swift just keeps that consistency and kind of reins you back in when you, rather than kind of starting off too fast. So yeah, it's brilliant, I love it. Running a marathon, you know, covering that 26.2 mile distance is a bigger commitment to achieve that athletic goal. Getting in those three to four hour long runs is just a huge commitment and a huge accomplishment when you cross that finish line. It's really difficult also when you've got like other things like just general life admin, the dog. <laughs> I thought I'd get up early, get out in the sunshine before I have to get to my desk. This is what happens every run. <laughs> Having a family, having a full-time job, it's very difficult to put in the amount of training uh, time that's needed to, to perform as well as I'd like to. But Zwift, it, it truly helps with that. I wake up before my family, I can get my workout out of the way, or same thing with work. Now working from home, I don't have to worry about, okay, I need to get in a shower, I need to get dressed and, and be presentable. It just allows for so much flexibility this is a big dream of his, so if Saturday needs to run for two hours, I'm fine with it. So how's training going? All in all, in terms of like preparation. I definitely feel on the right track. I just, it's, it's quite nerve wracking when you look at it on a calendar, you're like, oh my God, it's really not far away. I can't believe it's just like creeping up on us. She puts more pressure on herself than anybody else does. So that's, it's, it comes with the territory. He has set goals and he's like achieved them, so he's always like trying to like be better than he was last year. Here we are in Koalina, Hawaii. And just because we're on vacation doesn't mean prep stops. I've got to 
got a few concerns, things at the back of your head that you're like, oh my God, what if this happens? Making sure that I don't get carried away and go out too hard. I guess my biggest concern really right now is being able to travel. To be able to train with the team and, and have the support of Zwift and everyone else and then not be able to go in person, that, it'd be heartbreaking. I just need the next nine weeks, but I, as we get closer, I feel more and more ready. I think I'm there. I know I'm, uh, I don't sound as confident as I should, but I do feel very good about it. On a personal level, I definitely want to maximize this opportunity and just do my best and hopefully do myself justice in the marathon.